All right, so this is your pre-trip inspection. Your inspector says, okay, I want you to start your air leak test whenever you're ready. Sure, so I'm gonna do a safe start so that we could build up air pressure. So I'm gonna depress the clutch. My transmission is in neutral. Turn the key. And I'm gonna ease off the clutch. Okay. Now, the only mistake here, what's the one little mistake? One oh, little thing. I don't Got know. Got every seatbelt on at the rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the one thing. I was just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And okay. you yours as well, so that's great. Yeah. And we're going to wait for the air pressure in both tanks to build to 120 PSI. That's good. And when it does build to 120, we're going to hear the air governor cut out. Sounds good. And actually, I believe it already built to 120. Okay. So, we'll proceed with the uh, brake test. So I'm going to do the static brake test, um, in which case I'm going to shut the truck off, and be in the electrical position, and I'm going to hold down my service brake for one minute, and I should not lose more than four PSI in that one minute. That's true. But. Yeah. But <laughs> in the bus, that'd be exactly right. But we have, because this is a manual transmission vehicle, what can we do to make sure the the vehicle doesn't roll on us? We should put it in gear. We could put it in gear. Load and gear. then we're going to, before we hit the service brake, disengage our parking brake. Right? Yes. Yes. And that's the one thing. Okay, so if we were going to do that over. Yeah. While the truck was running, I should have said... What? You actually did you everything up to the point where you turn the truck off is cool. Okay. The only so just two little things. First, you want to leave the key on, so that key right there. You want to snap it right back on, and then key in the electrical position. Key in the electrical position. You want to toss it in low gear so it doesn't roll on you, because you're gonna disengage your parking brake in a sec, right? Good. And then you're gonna disengage and your trailer brake as well. And remember, the reason we do that is so we get air to the rear, right? Because right. if there's no air going back, then I just don't know if there are any leaks back there. And now you're ready for a leak test, right? Okay. Um, so I always run through a four-point check checklist in my head. First, I turned on the engine built pressure. I turned off the key, but I left the key on. I put it in low gear, and I released both my brakes before starting the leak test, right? right. Um, and now you're ready for a leak test. Okay, so now I'm going to hold down my service brake for one minute. I'm going to start my timer right over here. And I'm going to watch my air tanks so that I don't lose more than four PSI in that one minute. Perfect, yeah. And then I'm going to do the thing that you do <laughs> over there. That was one minute. Instructor, I did not lose more than four PSI in one minute. Perfect. Now I'm going to do my parking brake test. I'm going to pump the brakes to 60 PSI, in which case the parking brake valve, the yellow one, should pop out. Yeah, almost. I think you're mixing up the second and third test. That's the <laughs> test here. This is the test we're running now. We're not quite at the spring brake yet. We got, so you did the air leak test. That was great. And then between the we air leak. start this all thing over. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> because, um, because. It's good. It's common mistakes and stuff. I don't okay. know if you'd mind us using footage of you we'll making see. mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no but, one can know I make mistakes. <laughs> everybody's got to end. But I'll only use the footage once you pass. So I can be like, see, she made mistakes, but she passed okay. just the other day. Yeah, <laughs> first time. No problem. <laughs> okay. okay, so <clears throat> the first one was the static, correct? Yeah. And static is easy to remember because you're just keeping your foot on the brake. You're, you're static. Mm -hmm. And... um. The second is the low pressure. Oh, one. right, because yeah. we didn't wait a minute. I think that's what threw me off. Yeah. Yes, that yes. must be it. <laughs> so after the minute... You, yeah, you did that right. So after your minute, you were like, hey, no more than four pound loss, no leaks, right? That was great. Right. And then you skipped over the low pressure warning signal and went straight to the spring brake check. Yes. But you mixed up the number for the low pressure alarm with the spring brake. Because remember, the low pressure yeah, alarm... Totally. Yeah, totally... Yeah, okay. so I think you got everything right except the name of the test. I think that's the one thing that you switched for the last test. You know. Okay, I mean? should we start this over? All right, let's I do mean, it you here. don't have to. We could keep all yes. this. It doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> so we're starting again. Okay. So, mm -hmm. hello everybody. Hey. <laughs> Instructor, yeah. how's it going? I'm good. How are what you would doing? you like me to begin with? Yeah, so I'm gonna have you. Have our on. We both have our seatbelts on. Yes. And I want to have you start with an air leak test. Okay. Sure. So I'm gonna do a safe start to build pressure first. 
Okay. I'm going to depress my clutch. Transmission is in neutral. Sounds good. And start the truck. Ease off the clutch. Yeah. I'm going to wait for both my tanks to fill and at 120 PSI, we're going to hear the air governor cut out. Sounds good. And I don't know if on the test you're allowed to accelerate lightly. Yeah, so you can say during your test, hey, I'm going to give it just a bit of gas to build the pressure up faster if it's pretty low. Yeah. When So I would take it to like 11 or 1300 RPM. Okay. Like, yeah, like right there. That's good. It's almost there. Actually, it's past 120. It might go a little past it, yeah. You may not hear the governor. This is actually a fair point for the test. If the tank's are already full, then the governor is already open. So you won't hear that like psh sound. Um, so, so it's definitely past 120. You definitely want to talk about it at some point. If you don't hear it during this buildup, uh -huh. you'll hear it in the second buildup. Remember? Um, right, because we're going to drop. Because it's going to get super low, yeah. yeah. Um, so now, if that happens in the rotor set, you just say, hey, my pressure's already full around 120. And that was it there just then. True. But <laughs> if my pressure's already full around 120, what are you going to do? So we're going to get into gear because we're going to release our brakes. Okay, that's but first true. We're going to shut yes. our truck off yeah. And put it in the electrical position. Nice, awesome. Technical difficulties. Put it in second and release. I think we'd already pushed them in we during our uh, yeah when we did it last time, but. We would definitely do that at the road test site. We'd push them in. Good. Um, okay. Also, you can put it... First gear is probably the best gear because it'll hold you even tighter than, first, uh, than second wheel. Cool. All right, so now what do you do? So you did all your four points. You turned on the engine, built pressure. You turned it off, but you left the key on. You put in low gear, and you release both your brakes. You got all your four points out. Now you can do your leak test, right? Yes. So how do you I do that? I have to remember the order of the four points. Yeah. Okay, so the static air test. Uh, I'm gonna hold down the service brake and I'm gonna make sure that my air tanks don't lose more than four PSI in the one minute that I hold down the service brake. Sounds good. So I'm gonna start my timer, hold down the brake, and I'm watching the tanks. Fast forward. Yes. Instructor, I did not lose more than four PSI in one minute. Yeah, that's it, perfect, next. Now I'm going to proceed to my low air warning and buzzer Yes, test. nice. <laughs> I'm going to pump the service brake to 60 PSI, and I should get a low air warning and buzzer. There it is right there. Now I'm going to test my parking brake. I'm going to continue pumping the service brake to about 20 to 40 PSI and the yellow parking brake should pop out and same with the uh, trailer brake. Right? Yeah, yeah, so good. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All my brakes work. All your brakes work. Uh, so, and the valves popped out between 20 and 40, and you did it. Yeah. So, there was no mistakes there. Yeah, that was good. Cool. All right, next. So, now we're going to do another safe start to build pressure again so that we could test our service brake by pulling against it in low gear. Uh, well, that's how you check your parking brake and your trailer brake. We check our service brake by actually moving. I mean, right. yeah. Yeah, I know it's easy to mix up. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to pull against our parking brake. Good. Okay, so safe start. Clutch in. Neutral. Start the truck. Ease off the clutch. So, um, you don't have to rev it because you're actually going to make use of this time. Oh, How are you right. going to make use of this time? We're going to do the in-cab inspection. Yeah. I feel like I'm actually taking the test. Yeah. Okay, so 
So I'm going to start from the left and go to the right? Exactly. Or maybe not? <laughs> well, yeah, whatever you want. As long as you get everything, it doesn't matter which order you're doing it. Okay, so my mirrors are not cracked or broken. They are properly adjusted so that I can see the truck, the trailer as I need to. Uh, my windows are operating correctly. They're not cracked or broken. My windshield is not cracked or broken. It's clear of any debris. My windshield wipers are in operating condition. My inspection and registration are right over there. They're not ripped or anything. My steering wheel has less than 10 degrees of play. Um, my defroster is working. So you you got the mirror that was good. I feel like I skipped something. Um, did time. you talk about the steering wheel? Yes. And we say it's got no more than ten degrees. All right. Did you check the both the horns? No. See, yeah, I knew there was something over here. Yeah, you can check those out. Okay, so those are working. And then Fine. just behind the steering wheel, you got your that one. So. My hazard indicator and my left and right turn. Which will only work if the hazards are off. So you'll check the hazards and then off and then yeah. So you got your left right hazard. What else? You got your high beam indicator as well. These are the ones that I mess up. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna have a video too of uh, you oh, figuring it God. out, which is good. Okay. Screw it. Yeah. Whatever. Um. So you said that we for the test we want just this one. Yeah. We'll just put the low beams on, and you can mention the panel light turned on there behind the gauge cluster. Okay. So yeah. Just what? what did you say? Um, is... Like parking lights. So therefore, if I'm like parked in a lot or something, or on the side of the road, the headlights and taillights won't turn on. Right. So we're not really going to use during the test. We'll use the up position for on, and we'll use the middle position for off. Okay. Um, the so gauge cluster. Like... Right. Okay. So my oil pressure and my water pressure uh, rose when I started the truck and they're at the proper operating level. Uh, I have enough fuel for this trip, I think. <laughs> it's kind yeah, of low, no, we're here. good, we're good. Um, I can't check my speedometer yet, but I will when we take off. Sounds and good. my air tanks are filled to the proper level. And what else am I gonna say? I have safety triangles, fire extinguisher, and a first aid kit, I can see. Alright, seat belts. This is not cracked or broken. My cab light is work working properly. Uh, my seat belt is not ripped, neither is yours. And we could talk about maybe the height and weight. Yes. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, my trailer is 12 feet 6 inches tall and it weighs. 43,000 pounds. 43,000 pounds. That's our combined weight tractor and trailer. Yes. So, uh, just remember the gauge cluster, you want to be specific about a number for each gauge. So, like, oil pressure gauge is working um, around 40 pounds, right? Or between 25 and 50. Oh, I didn't um, know that I did this Yeah, specific. you'll just say, like, a number. But the good thing is you just have to read it. So, it's not like you have to memorize it. You just, like, read what the gauge says. And oh, there is good. not a number that we're looking for. We're just going to We'll just what read what it says and say that that's normal. Um, okay. You know, because they want to hear a normal operating range, and we're going to assume that the truck is in normal operating range, and what we read is the normal operating range. You know? um, give the gas a little pump. Um, so, yeah, like the water temperature gauge is just shy of 200 degrees, which is good, just like around 180. Um, my tachometer is around maybe 800 right now, or a little short of 800 RPM. Um, volt gauge is easy to miss because it's electronic. Um, and it's around 14. Nice. And the fuel gauge, you got that. Two pressure gauges, you and just and you mentioned 120, so you're good. Registration and insurance, heater defroster, driver area, emergency equipment, all under this chair. Um, what were the four pieces of emergency equipment? Safety triangles, uh, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, and extra fuses. 
fuses and bulbs, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So you got most everything. And so now we're going to do a uh, the last three brake tests. The last three brake tests. Yeah. Right, which I want the truck to be running. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's the oh, camera, right? In the bag. I hope so. I felt that way. I felt like while I was yeah, doing film, still like it got it. me. But you, yeah. <laughs> But like you um, could do your your job, but probably under some extreme stress. So. Uh, no, I actually hate if there's a customer waiting and, and they're like hanging out by like the Like looking window. at you? Yeah, looking yeah. in, I'm just like, come on. Just <laughs> I hate but you still have to just do it. Yeah. So I guess you get over it. Okay, shoot. Um, I just get confused on whether... Okay, the truck should be running. Yes. Yeah. Because right, and you, I know, I know you know it because you told me perfectly how to do it before you actually started your in cab. You told me, "Hey, I'm going to turn on the pre the engine because I'm about to do this test," right. and you told me exactly the right thing. So I know you know it, right? Um, you told me I'm going to check my. I'm going to check my parking brake. And you called it a tug test. Do you remember that? I'm going to tug against it. Yeah. So I only want this applied. Right. So I'm going to put my foot on the service brake. So you only want this applied. At the moment, two brakes are applied. This one and this one. Right. So exactly. you're going to, yeah. And you don't have to hit the service brake. Oh, yeah. You can just, yeah, yeah you can just hit the red valve. <laughs> um, um, okay, so right now the trailer brake and the service brake obviously are not applied. They only have the parking brake applied. So I'm going to get into low gear. Nice. So the parking brake is working correctly. Yes. That being neutral, I'm going to test my trailer brake by putting the parking brake on, taking the trailer brake. Yeah, so what you're probably going to want to do is release the. So, yeah, so this is what it was like before, right? Yes. So pull this one first. That way, when you disengage this one, you're there's still a break, you know what I mean? Because right. if you push this one in, then you're yes. just like for a second, you're in neutral, right? right? So make sure you push this in after you engage your trailer and that'll make it so you don't roll at all, right? Okay, so can we do that again? We were, yeah. we were just... So just now, yeah, that was in and this was out. And then you said, I'm gonna check my trailer break. I'm gonna check my trailer break. So I'm gonna put that on. Okay, yeah. so that's easy. As yeah. soon as I say I'm going to check my trailer brake, I'm going to apply it. Yeah. And we only want the trailer brake on, so we're going to take the parking brake off. And the service brake, as you can see, I'm not pressing it. So again, I'm going to get into low gear. And use off the clutch. Pull against the trailer brake. And it held. So my yes. trailer brake is working. Nice. Properly. Service brake pedal. So I think this way to do this. We don't want to roll. Don't want to roll. So I'm going to hold down the pedal. Okay. We go. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, both the parking and the trailer brake uh, is released. And we're going to get into low gear again. Or should I just. Should yeah, because uh, this is yeah. the one one. This is the different of the three, right? Where this one's you're actually going to move. So yeah, you want to put it in the lowest gear, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to roll forward by using off the clutch at about five miles per hour, and then I'm going to hit my service brake pedal. Exactly. Let's do it. Do I give it a little gas? Um, yeah, you can give it a little gas because you want to get to f uh, five miles per hour. Sure. So you got to pick it up. Exactly. Cool. So my service <laughs> brake is. My service brake is working. And um, my speedometer is working. And my it speedometer. didn't shake or pull to the left or right either, right? Yes. Which means that we have correctly adjusted adjusted brakes as well. All right, cool. So that's a. I feel like this is gonna be a useful video. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.